Throwing a wet blanket on the First Amendment. A Norfolk business owner says the city is violating his free speech rights by forcing him to cover up a protest sign on his property. Then on your side's Andy Fox is on the story. Andy, it went to a judge. What did she decide? Tom and Alvita, the judge decided the First Amendment does not guarantee free speech at all times any way you may wish. And important for the Norfolk, the sign size ordinance is not unconstitutional. We're feeling that the, the message just really isn't getting out. The Central Radio Company sign along Hampton Boulevard near ODU. And that was one of the reasons for the banner. That should be one-sixth the size it is now, is now undercover. Hidden is the message against the eminent domain, the taking of Bob Wilson's property. We want the public to know what's going on. But the court ruled Bob Wilson's First Amendment rights are not being violated. And the Norfolk sign size ordinance is not unconstitutional. It makes me awfully upset with my country. I mean, I've got a legal right. I've got an obligation to protest when I think my government's wrong. That, that's part of being an American. Uh, they're taking that right away from me, plain and simple. But now, new questions. Does the blue tarp become a sign? I don't know. That's a, that's a good, very good legal question. I, I wouldn't think so. The blue tarp appears not to be a sign because it does not communicate a message. Right, Norfolk exactly. spokesperson Lori Crouch. Is the tarp good enough? Do we know yet? We don't know yet. Um, we did send an inspector. We are going to be sending an inspector out to take a look at it just to make sure that it's secure. But does covering the sign up with a tarp and not taking down the sign altogether satisfy the city? There is no no active pursuit now on the part of the city to force them to take down the tarp and the sign. Not at this point. The city had threatened to charge Wilson $1,000 a day if he did not take down the illegal sign. Have you heard of anything that suggests that they're going to start the $1,000 a day fine? No, that's not even on the table right now because we have not moved forward with prosecution. The sign may be gone, but left behind are hard feelings that Norfolk, through its housing authority, wants to take a man's business and give it to ODU. They're going to take it from a thriving business and give it to a more favored business somewhere else. I mean, it's not a classroom that's being built here, a library, even a park. None of that. Wilson will argue those points in the eminent domain court case likely in February. The city's housing authority will argue the taking of the property is a legitimate taking for the public good. The city will also argue Wilson will be fairly compensated and he can relocate the business to another site. The hundred employees Wilson mentions on the sign will simply work at another site if Wilson chooses to keep the business open. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.